Structures built by army and police intensified deadly flash floods. A barrier by the army, as well as a leisure and entertainment complex recently built by police in the city of Shiraz, have been singled out as factors that intensified the recent deadly flash floods in the ancient city of southern Iran. In its report on the deadly flood, the fact-finding committee of the city council of Shiraz says, During the past three decades, nearly 130 hectares of land in the Quran Gate Basin have been affected by man-made structures that have prevented the water from being absorbed into the ground and intensified the floods in Shiraz. Furthermore, the report maintains that a mound made by the army also helped the flash floods to accumulate and intensified the flow of water. Teachers activist receives one-year jail sentence and fine. Teachers activist Fatima Bamani and her husband Mohammed Kurd are each sentenced to one year imprisonment and payment of a fine of two million tomans. Fatima is a mother and her child has been kept by relatives since she has been arrested. Fatima and Mohammed were arrested by security forces in Iraq on November 11, 2018, during the Iranian teachers' nationwide strike. On that day, as the Coordinating Council of Iranian Educators Guild organization announced, 12 teachers were arrested and 30 teachers activists were summoned and interrogated. The strike was to protest suppression and the imprisonment of teachers, their dire living conditions, high inflation and the devaluing of their purchasing power. Instagram suspends accounts belonging to Iran's Khomeini and IRGC leaders. The Instagram accounts of Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khomeini and Qasem Salami, the head of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard's cause Quads Force, were suspended Tuesday, a day after the IRGC was officially designated by the United States as a terrorist organization. Instagram also suspended the accounts of IRGC Commander-in-Chief Mohammed Ali Jafari and Brigadier General Mohammed Pakpour, the commander of the IRGC's ground forces. Earlier, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo had told Fox News in an answer to a question whether Soleimani is equal to the leader of ISIS, yes, he is a terrorist. Bahrain jails 169 for founding Iran-linked terror group. A Bahraini court has convicted 139 people on terrorism-related charges in a mass trial involving 169 defendants, and sentenced them to prison terms of between three years and life in prison. The Public Prosecutor's Office said on April 16th that 138 of those convicted were stripped of their citizenship and a further 30 were acquitted. The defendants, of which 109 are in custody and 60 were tried in absentia, can appeal. Charges against the group include forming a terrorist cell inside Bahrain with help from the mainly Shiite Iran, for the purpose of carrying out attacks in the sunny-ruled kingdom. <laughs>